got a four-year-old, a six, an eight, and I see them. And they bring them to the boat, and as I help them into the boat, and I told them to say, there were 32, including my family. 32. I told them to sit down, so they sat next to each other. As soon as they got to sit down, as soon, they went dead. <laughs> they fell asleep. They were like, you hit them on the head, and this is me. At 8 o'clock, when we had all of them, they told the captain, now you can leave, but go slow. Do not speed out of the bay. So, okay, so now we're going out. It's dark. As soon as he got to the entrance of the bay, he went boom, and that, that virtual went, yeah, and we flew out. On the way there, he stopped twice to help people on the road, on the, on the, on the water, that he, he was refusing when he was coming to Cuba. We got to Key West on Wednesday at 6 in the morning, to Key West, because we stopped and all that. In Key West, as soon as they got in, everybody was processed there but they were putting buses to Miami because they were processing them at, at T T Miami Park. And my cousins were in Key West and they said, your mother is desperate, we're gonna call, you know, got on the phone, called them, she's here, she's safe. She didn't know if I had drowned. She didn't know if I was in jail. But anyway, I got to, I, got, I, I went in the bus with them to Miami. I didn't want to leave them alone because they were so scared. I mean, they come from a repressive state. Everything there is, they're so scared, they don't know. So we got them to the Tam Miami Park. Imagine I was, what, eight, seven, eight days without a shower, without changing clothes. I smelled, I lost seven pounds in one week, seven. To lose seven pounds in one week, that's a lot. Because we, we were not eating. So we got there and I remember seeing one of my nuns. And I went and I said, hi. And she looks at me and said, yeah. Oh my God! You're Graciela! I said, yes, it's me! What happened to you? I said, I just came from, from Mariel. All right, so Wednesday. That's Wednesday, Miami. Everybody's calling me. Oh my God, you're fired. What? Father Denny, he is firing you. He is so upset with you. Because you left and, but I didn't, I, I couldn't, I didn't even know I was going. I said, well, I'm, I'm, we're telling you, he's really upset and he's going to fire you. I said, okay. So Thursday I took off, I couldn't go anywhere. So Friday morning I went to St. Brendan and I walked in the principal's office and he's, he's sitting there in his, in his desk again. He was an Irish principal. He was hard. I loved the man. I loved him, but he was tough. So I go in there and I stand in front of Father Denny and as soon as I Stood in front of Father Denny, I went, <gasps> you know, I started crying. And he looks at me like, oh my God, this woman, what's wrong with her? You know, because even the seven pounds. And I cried and I cried and he says, sit down, Grace, sit down. So I sat down, I couldn't talk, couldn't talk. And then he says to me, I calm down, he says, calm down. So he says to me, Grace, he says, don't do this again to me. You know what my response was to him in, in the middle of my crying? I said, Father, if I have to do it again for my family, I would. And he said to me, and he said to me, um, okay. He understood, he was very good to me. And he said, take, go home, come back on Monday. We'll talk more on Monday. But that was, uh, an experience in my life that I will never forget. And if you want to hear more about this boat lift, what they did, what Castro did, this is how smart he was. In my boat, I don't know who the people came in my boat, but I know he got rid of all the people in jail that was against him. He got rid of all the mental, he cleaned the mental hospitals. They all came to this country. Gathered. You know when my family was picked up? 
My family was picked up on Friday, close to Havana, on Friday. They remain under a tent, little kids and my, 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 knee, my, my, my aunt's husband, under a tent with hundreds of people for Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, until Tuesday, without food, water, or anything, even little kids. They were picked up on Friday, and it was Tuesday when they allowed us to go and pick them up. It was horrible. So, again, he got rid of a lot of people that he had to fed, take care of, put in jail. He says, here, you want to leave? Go. That's how he has survived. I told you from the very beginning, he is very intelligent. I guess he's going to last forever. <laughs> because I think, I don't know how old he is now, 90, he's still there. His brother is taking, take, taking the place of him, but he's still alive. So that's my story of Mariel Boatlift. Okay? Thank you. All right.